So how exactly do we make a stone 3D text effect? Well, let me show you. First of all, let's jump into Illustrator right here and let's start with some text. Hit T on the keyboard, pull up our type tool and let's type out a word here. Okay, grab a corner right here, hit Alt and Shift. That maintains the proportion and it expands it from the center. Okay, let's do that again. There we go. That looks not bad. So what we're going to do now is expand this live text here. Click on our text, Control, Shift, and the letter O. Like so, that looks good. Now, what we'll do is we will add an effect to this. So it, it'll give it that more sort of that stone look as if it was carved with some type of chisel or something. So we'll head on up here to effect and let's go down to distort and transform. And then we will go with roughen. Pull up roughen like so. Now we don't need it that much. That's a little much. So what we'll do is let's go down to about maybe 1% on the size here and then we'll work with uh, relative and let's go down to maybe one okay that will work and let's on underneath uh, the points let's click smooth here okay let's see detail about one okay that looks good hit okay let's zoom in that looks good okay now what we'll do here is we we need to expand this because if you take a look you see how the green line is going one way and kind of the black line right here is wavy well we do not want that so to check our work what we can do is hit control Y and let's see what we have going on hit control Y to bring it back to preview mode and what I like to do is I like to head on up to object go down to compound path and then click make okay it makes a compound path now let's make this a black color okay so now what we'll do is head up to our um, pathfinder tool here and let's hit unite first one on the top left there we go now we'll have to expand the appearance object and expand appearance. There we go. So now it will not change if we make any further changes here. Control Y. Let's double check. Okay. All right. Looks good. Control Y preview mode. Now what we'll do is since we have the basic baseline of what we're going to do, now we'll make some copies here. We need two additional copies so what we'll do is click on our text layer here or our object and hit control C to copy that control shift V that pastes it in place now we need one more control shift and V again and now what we'll do is let's go ahead and put another layer a top layer above that and move any one of our uh, copies up here to this layer here and then what we'll do is we'll lock that top layer and we will turn it off. We don't need it right now at this moment. Now the fun part happens. So we'll take our bottom group here, which would be our basically our depth sort of um, text here. And we will grab one of the corners, Alt and Shift, and pull and drag down like so. Now I'm thinking of kind of a grayish color and for that particular color, let's do something like a dark, dark gray for that one there. Now our top one, let's make that more of a lighter gray here. Okay. That will work. Now what, what we can do is let's see. We don't necessarily have to combine these, but guys, I think I'm going to combine these and I'll go to object, compound path, 
click make that looks good we'll do the same thing here object compound path click on make I personally like to do that for organization I don't get confused by all the different layers and sub layers etc so this will work here now what we can do select both of these and head on up to object to blend and let's try our blending options here we want specified steps 500 would be ideal but let's just go ahead and go with a thousand just because and the orientation is fine hit OK now nothing is happening yet because what we did is we set the parameters of our blend mode first I like to do that just to get a basic feel of what I'm going to do next now what we'll do with both of these selected let's head up to object and go back down to blend and now let's click make click make in we are solidified that looks good that's a nice blend and as you see if we zoom in because of the number of steps that we took no if you took like let's just say a hundred you would see gaps right here like in between from where the the extrusion happens so that is great okay that looks good now what we'll do is decide on the colors and I think I think um, that kind of gray to light gray to dark gray um, I think that looks fine okay so now what we'll do let's turn on the top layer the one that we had turned off and we need to unlock that and let's lock our uh, bottom layers here lock those and now what we can do is we don't need to be concerned about the color of this however if we wanted to we could just make it just any color we want but what we'll do now is we are going to place the stone look on it okay so what we can do here is with that selected first of all we need to turn this into a compound path go up to object compound path and click make all right so now underneath our layer ingredients here we have a couple tools draw normal we have the draw behind and we also have the draw inside tool so we'll hit draw inside like so and now we know we're in the right place when we see these little stagnant ants right here once you see the stagnant ants you know that you can proceed and place uh, an image or whatever you like so let's go up to file and then we'll click on place okay now let's we have this layer right here which is our stone wall layer click place give it a few moments and then when you can see the picture in these little little I don't know what to call them maybe like sort of like sideways triangles I guess We'll take these and we'll pull this in like so and go all the way around it. There we go. Now we'll grab our picture here. Let's move this up just a little bit. Show a little bit of the distortion or the cracks there. There we go. Okay, that looks good. zoom in a little bit and see what we've done not bad now of course you can edit this guys let's unlock our bottom part here and what we can do let's click on our bottom section and let's go down with it a little bit just click and drag this down let's see about like so not bad there we have it I'll move this up there we go like so that's all we have to do and for the people that want to get fancy now you could take this and deliver it as a PNG file and drop it maybe in Photoshop and put some more shadows in there put some colors behind it whatever you like to do and that would be great now for this video, we'll just add on a background. You're ready to go.
that's it. So I think that will do it for this video. And like always, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.